Hi everybody, welcome to Nelson for day two of our Super Club competition. Four games for you today. I've got Jodie Brown and Marie Bowden with me. The first match was between Ensworth and the Jaguars. Ensworth, a massive victory for them, 74-45. It was a good one, wasn't it ladies? It was a good one, a good one to start the match and Ensworth came off with a bang and a hiss and a bang and they just really took the Jaguars right from the first quarter. Yeah, those Australians, I guess Amy Pimenta, she was the standout there. Uh, she got MVP. She did, she started at centre, moved to wing attack throughout the game but twice in the, in the game she hit the floorboards and bounced back up and she was just really solid through the middle. Her feeding was superb, she has a good connection with Bryce, the tra um, train and the Giants together back in the Sydney Suncorp Stadium. Uh, and just yeah, really solid for her team throughout the whole game. Yeah, the Aussies looking like they are going to really push the Kiwi sides here very quick, absolutely. Match two was between the Flames and Marama Val, the team from Fiji against the team from Wales. Now the Welsh side plays very, very well in this one. They won it 68 points to 41. What gave them the fast start? Yeah, well I just think it was that experience out there that they had. They've got Thompson coming from the tactics, Faka Hakata, but also their midcourt, Jones, um, was really prominent in that centre position. So I just think it was that experience. They got that strong start and, and the Fijian team was just playing catch up from then on. And how about their shooter, Chelsea? Lewis. I mean, she combined very well with Thompson and uh, she was dominant. Yeah, I watched them in warm-up. They were working well together. She was creating that back space for herself, really finding that, um, that position under the post. And, and Thompson, as we know, is a fantastic feeder and has that ability to put in those long bombs. So she was outstanding in there and really stepped up for her team, went out to goal attack for a wee bit before taking a rest on the bench. Well, game three, 86-55. That is the score that the Steel took down the University of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, I love the flair though from the girls from the Caribbean. Yeah it was fantastic. I think they want to erase that first quarter and start all over again because the second, third and fourth quarters were really fantastic from their side but it was Shannon Francois that was the important person for the steal, the player of the match this, this game and she really started off with a whole lot of deflection. She had two intercepts to her names but what impressed me with her is that when she got a deflection there was a blue dress there to back her up and really support her and pick up that deflection. Her feeding into to Fowler Reed was sensational, just like hot potato. And she really did make an impact on this game. You really need to also talk about the two shooters from Trinidad and Tobago, Samantha Wallace and McCorran down there. They just had a really solid game too. And Samantha Wallace's hands, unbelievable yep. with control with the ball. Well, she actually watched the next game, which was the Pulse Mystics. And she was there to watch Kath Tuivaiti. She said, that woman is unbelievable. But it wasn't enough because the Mystics won by five goals. How about that one? Yeah, how about that one? I mean, the Mystics, they, you know, started strongly and then went through a bit of a lull and we thought, are they going to pull it back? But in that championship quarter 15 to 10 they got up over the pulse in that quarter which set them up for that final uh, flourish at the end so they'll be really happy with that Storm Purvis on defence she was player of the match she really did well in there came up with plenty of ball with her for her team her combination with Harrison was outstanding just the ability to look like there is space there and then she comes through for that incident I was watching on that sideline thinking how did she get that ball but she managed to came up with the player of the match performance and she's just grown as this tournament's gone on. Yeah, I liked it how they switched bibs a couple of times too. So here are all your results from today. 74-45 massive for the Aussies there over the Jaguars and then the Flames came through. 68-41 over Marama Val and on the third game 3, 86-55 against UTT and finally what a close one, 59-54 the Mystics get the bragging rights for now. Well, we take a day off on Tuesday, Community Day for the girls here in Nelson but back Wednesday with day three.